Greetings family, peace, love, and black power. This is Guru. Thanks for visiting my channel. Family, you know how we always talk about how lamestream media tries to hide uh, white crimes, especially shootings of the police by white people. You know, this narrative we've been talking about because we know it's a, it's a fact that more white people have been killing, shooting, and trying to kill police than anybody they're the um, our natural born domestic terrorists, by the way, who happen to look just like this guy. I'm about to play this video for you, family, but I just wanted to say that this is one of those stories that it was hidden by lame spring stream media. How is that? So, well, I happened to click on this. I was at the Huffington Post. I was looking for uh, just looking for some interesting articles, and I came across this article on mass shootings at a New York Halloween party which leaves two dead so I clicked on the article um, and I started reading through it and going down and as I'm going down there's a video at the very end and it says uh, you know video footage turned in by a, a dash cam of police officer of police shooting and I'm thinking what this this doesn't even have anything to do with this article but yet it was at the very tail end of this article. Now, mind you, the article involving the Halloween, the New York Halloween party, which leaves two dead, they show us this picture. So this is the picture the article shows uh, involving this uh, mass shooting at a New York Halloween party, which leaves two dead. This is the picture. Now, I haven't read this article, so I'm sorry. I'm just telling you what's going on and exactly how I came across this video I'm about to show you, family. Nonetheless, when I get down to the end of the article um, from what I just showed you, there's this uh, video here. And like I said, it has something to do with a police dash cam uh, video that clears a police officer of a shooting. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go. Let's see what, let me see what this is in talking about. You know, is it involving this mass shooting at this Halloween party? Since it's on this uh, same page at the end of this article, what's going on? So I clicked on the video and I'll just tell you that my mouth didn't drop I was let me just show you what I'm talking about police release body camera video from an officer who shot and killed a man in Parker that suspect had shot and badly wounded a Douglas County Sheriff's detective the whole scene played out near Sierra Middle School in September officers responded to a man with a gun earlier this month we showed you when that injured deputy Dan Bright left the hospital for rehabilitation. All these hospital workers there cheering on his recovery. Our Jennifer Bright's live tonight in Douglas County. And Jen, you just got your hands on the decision involving that officer who killed the suspect. Well, Karen, this report from the district attorney's office actually in Arapahoe County actually clears the officer who took that fatal shot on that day. Now, the officer, we've learned, has only been with Parker PD about two years, and just a month prior to that instant, he had rifle training. What you're about to see is body camera video from his body cam on that day. In this body camera video, you see Parker police officer Ronnie Durrell run toward the armed suspect, then barricade himself behind the car door of a witness. That one fatal shot hit suspect Randy Roddick in the head. Law enforcement commend Officer Durrell for stopping the threat and having presence of mind in a chaotic situation. Minutes earlier, the suspect shot Douglas County Detective Dan Bright, and then he continued on a shooting spree. To know that there is an officer down, to know that people are being shot at, and to know that this guy is armed to the hilt, and to be able to stop yourself, take in that sight picture, slow your breathing, and pull that trigger one time. District Attorney George Brockler justifies the police shooting. He says it was the suspect's wife that called 911, alerting cops that her husband was drunk and heavily armed. This all started at the couple's Parker home and unfolded near Sierra Middle School, which was placed on lockdown. Roddick had an arsenal in his RV, a shotgun, a handgun, and thousands of rounds of ammo. This guy continued to fire. So at that point in time, you know, we have to stop that threat immediately. What if this guy's wife had not alerted law enforcement to his behavior and what he was doing? And law enforcement wasn't able to try to keep him in this.
this very small area as he loaded his RV full of all of these implements of death. Now to give you some perspective here, when Detective Bright, the injured officer, actually left the scene after being shot, we were told that he did not have a pulse. We were also told that he was then coded, he coded out in the ER, and his family was told that he only had 1% chance to survive his wounds. He is currently, though, in a rehab facility, doing very, very well, making a wonderful recovery. So family, with respect to Omani Free, who was pictured here, as I read this article, um, she was unfortunately, she's an 18-year-old girl who was identified by her father uh, is one of the victims who was fatally shot. So um, I just wanted to report that that's why her picture is on this article here. She was one of the victims at the New York Halloween party that uh, was a, ma a mass shooting that happened uh, that left two people dead and multiple others injured. Um, again, the video I just showed you of the white officer who, uh, the one who was killed, number one, and then the white suspect uh, who they shot and killed, uh, this story was totally hidden. That, that particular story was totally hidden underneath this article. It had no other cap, it had no headline of its own. It had no other caption other than the fact that um, newly released police video footage of shooting, <laughs> which made me, it prompted me to click on it. And then again, that's what I just shared with you, family. And here is what the uh, actual video caption showed. Again, it's underneath that other article. It's one of those that they're trying to maybe push under the rug, hide from people not have it on its main page or anything like that because of course they don't want you to see something like this at least the suspect being a white man and also uh the police officer who he shot and killed was also a white man this is white on white vigilante crime uh that's carried out in our streets so again family i just wanted to share this with you it was something that was again hidden uh at the very bottom of the page and um it was, uh, it has no title of its own, no headline, and again, it's under this other uh, report. It's so funny how they try to hide these things. Just wanted to show it, share it with you, family. If you like it, please like it, share it, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Definitely appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate and value your time watching. This is Guru. Until next time, peace, love, and black power.